What is up, ladies and gents? Welcome back. It is yours truly, Light Liger, the crypto enthusiast. And today, we got to be talking about Libra. And first, I'm going to kind of do a bullet point breakdown of the features that were mentioned on the Libra white paper that was released today. And then I will kind of go on the personal analysis on should you invest on this coin? What is the potential of it and what, how it will affect the whole crypto market? And just in bear in mind, I am not a financial advisor. So those who have been out of loop, Libra is the coin that Facebook has been developing for some time now. And it first was called something like Global Coin. I think it has some other names, but it's now official that it will be called Libra. And that comes from the Latin word Libra, which means kind of like a pound of by weight. So basically a measurement unit, which has a correlation to obviously currency. And it's just not Facebook who is involved in Libra. There's a lot of very, very big companies. Basically, the 1% is all over this project. So let's go over some of the big companies involved. And this is the biggest roster ever in crypto so far. So it's a really, really huge thing. And especially because Facebook has alleged user base of 2 billion, which offers a basically a mainstream access to 2 billion people, potentially. So first of all, we have card providers such as MasterCard and Visa, pretty big. Then we have Lyft and Uber. So those are places where you can spend Libra. Then we have a lot of payment options such as Stripe, Coinbase, PayPal, Mercado Pago, I think that is also a payment system, Sapo. There's also a major retailer uh, such as eBay, that is very huge. Then we have Spotify, Anchorage, and then we have, you know, some book companies. Vodafone is also very big, and rest of the companies I'm not very familiar with, but is a very, very big roster of companies. And that's just the initial team that is on and most of them will be adapting this coin uh, sooner or later and basically to my understanding uh, Libra will be only available on like one wallet and I'm not sure is it like open source that can people basically like operate their own wallets and you know it is a somewhat decentralized project and somewhat centralized. And we're going to get that in a second. So the, the the wallet will be called Calibra, basically. And there will be systems like refunds. And it is uh, kind of governed by these, like, trusty nodes. Apart, according to some articles, running a node is going to be costing, like, $10 million. So um, this 51% attack is, like, very expensive to do. However... According to the white paper, it doesn't even need 51. So in case of Libra, you only need 34% attack. But that would also be very, very expensive to conduct that type of uh, attack on the network. So let's kind of go over um, some of the other aspects of this coin. So uh, there will be a level of KYC going on uh, on Facebook and WhatsApp where you can use the coin basically. And in order to buy it and stuff like that, there will be levels of verification. And as I we already mentioned that one of the exchanges that will have it will be Coinbase. And Coinbase is region blocked in a lot of places. Uh, Facebook is region blocked in some of the places. Some people don't have passports. Some people don't have government IDs. And this is, uh, I don't not let a lot of companies really talk about it in crypto, but to me, the idea is to get money to the people who don't own banks, they don't have access to money, but they may have a phone and they may have internet. So it's very important to get currencies to those people. But obviously, the top 1% hyper-capitalists don't care about those people because they don't really have a lot of money. But it's more about uh, in crypto community, as le at least in some aspects, to kind of have a more decentralized system where everybody kind of has money, not just like the 1%, basically. 
And let's kind of go over some of the uh, basic main features that are mentioned on the coin. So it is kind of unclear of the actual value of the coin. So it is a stable coin, but it's not a stable coin that is tied into a dollar. It is also going to have a tie into U uh, Euro and I probably assume Yen and Yuan and in maybe even the Indian rupee. And that is kind of interesting. So basically there might be uh, Euro Libras, there would be uh, Dollar Libras, and this will have obviously affecting exchanges. Maybe they only will accept one of them or something like that. And that kind of you know defeats the purpose of the idea. What is uh, the fees going to be like when you ch uh, change uh, the euro libras and you want to give uh, somebody us libras there will be uh, some type of transaction costs but it's said to be close to none or zero and that is pretty good so there are aspects about libra that are going to be very good we talked about that it's going to be uh, available on all of these providers which means that well there is a possibility for mass adoption and a lot of the things will be operating through banks and governments and a lot of people have basically you know had concerns regarding that okay i did some hate speech or i didn't respect the community guidelines on facebook will facebook close my libra account so this is a very fundamental big problem of the system. Obviously, they have to abide by the laws of the country. So you can't obviously fund terrorism and stuff like that. People are allowed to have multiple addresses, which are not linked to their real world identity. But as I said in the past about Facebook is that they are collecting information about you and now they will have much more information now that you're holding money with them. Other aspects that are interesting about it, uh, there might be some type of a dividend interest type of a system. Um, there also will be some Libra that will be burned and it also will be minted. These breakdowns are not... Uh, fully explained, I guess, that when you actually send uh, US dollars to a bank, then the more Libras are created or something like that. And it, it is uh, kind of interesting. And so there are aspects about it that are centralized and decentralized. And apparently that they're going to be over five years going to be moving towards more decentralized system. How believable that is, I don't know. And what we also have to understand is that this is a coin that is not necessarily a good investment because it's, it, it is a stable coin still and stable coins are not really that good of an investment to be honest. Uh, let's be honest about that. But uh, there's validators. Uh, there's also some type of a gas system inside it. The ticker name will be LBR. That's what we know so far. Uh, there's also a coin that is called Libra coin, some shit coin, which doesn't seem to be very big. There are, well, it, the white paper is not like this complete manifesto because it doesn't tell us the block sizes and is there an explorer here and stuff like that. There's a lot of moral fagging and kind of giving this idea that we are for the people and everything like that in the white paper, but it just doesn't. I, it just doesn't seem like it. It doesn't actually, when it comes into action, I don't think that it's going to be doing that. So Libra is going to be kind of like a newbie coin, which has, you know, as if, as if fraud happens, you will be refunded. So this is pretty big getting mainstream audience into, uh, you know, crypto. And those people probably are more likely to come in and they get maybe introduced to the crypto and then they get to altcoins and they will get the Bitcoin and then they will basically just bail out of Libra once they have uh, harnessed the technology. My assessment, it will be that it will be probably at least top 10 coin, at least and when the combined Libras will be um, all together with different currencies. But we don't know if there's going to be Explorer once again. Are we able to see the max supply and everything like that? It could be all bullshit. We don't know. So open source doesn't seem to be big on the plan. So it's it's not going to be a community related 
project is going to be a project by the one percent to the normies basically i mean that's that's what it initially is but there might be some small money to be made if you buy in early and then you sell out uh, once the adoption rises and obviously the good thing about it is that you it is money that you can use on your phone. So if you're traveling a lot, you know, it's something that you can use that to pay Uber in Europe and you can use it to pay on Uber on America. So there are all types of these types of stuffs. But um, as I said, it's working kind of with the governments and the banks. So it's not necessarily a good project. But in a way, it's also going against uh, the central banks. And there's already kind of like blood of backslash against that whole thing. And this is kind of like my analysis of the thing. I obviously didn't go absolutely every feature on the like white paper. And you can go read that yourself on the link down below. But overall, I would say Libra is an interesting project. And maybe like the, it will be a net positive for mainstream adoption and eventually getting rid of all of this fucking bullshit fiat currencies. And it's not going to be the number one coin. It's not going to be... Uh, replacing Bitcoin because Bitcoin is an investment coin. It is a whole store of value. So Libra is not able to going to go from one dollar to hundred dollars. That is not going to happen. Mark my words on that. But thanks for watching this uh, video. Subscribe for more stuff. I will probably do a follow up video on Libra at some point. Will I personally buy it? Maybe I will buy couple. And maybe I will like try to, if they do airdrops, I don't know if that's going to happen. Are they going to give free money? Who knows? It might happen. It might happen. And if they do, I'm just going to dump it on some <laughs> some other real coin out there that has potential. But right now, uh, I'm not really sold on this project right now because I'm not a supporter of Facebook. And a lot of these companies really mark down on the whole thing that these are not but I would uh, consider morally acting companies that have the best interests of the people and their privacy. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Cheers.